Pretty quiet for a setup here for us around the region. Not going to see much in the way of uh, weather today or tomorrow. Afternoon temperatures are almost there. We're almost there already. We're in the upper 60s, mid to upper 60s right now. I think we'll hit 70 in a few spots like Leesville and Chatham. Otherwise, we're probably going to be in the upper 60s like Mobile at 69, Daphne, Fair Hope at 67, Lillian at 66, probably get to about 65 in Pensacola, 64 in Fort Walton Beach. At once again, the beach forecast, we got red flags flying. So please keep that in mind. Uh, water temperature is actually going to be a little bit warmer than the air temperature. We still have some pretty good breezes. This will help kick up those waves too out of the northeast at around 15 miles per hour. Now over the next seven days, rain chances. Whew. Uh, to, to today and tomorrow are great, but then Wednesday and Thursday they start shooting back up, get a little break on Friday, and they shoot back up over the weekend. So we got a couple different things going on here. First off, on Wednesday we're going to have a low actually developing out in the Gulf of Mexico in April with possibilities. Okay, now you look at it, you say, well, it looks like a tropical system. Kind of does. The water temperatures, though, are too cold for a true tropical system, but we get a hybrid system called a subtropical system, and if those get strong enough, they get a name anyway, so it's possible we could see Arlene here. Probably doesn't get quite up to that level, though. I think we'll stay below that kind of strength. But one way or the other, it's going to mean rain late Wednesday on and through the day Thursday as this moves on in to the Gulf Coast, spreading rain across our area. So Thursday could turn out to be pretty wet because of that Wednesday night going on into Thursday. And then we get to the weekend. This time, it's just a regular old front coming on in. You can see that here on Saturday. That's going to be bringing us rain scattered about on Saturday. It might have to raise the rain chances a little bit there. We'll have to wait and see. But then I think Sunday, particularly in the morning, we're probably going to get some heavy rain and showers. We'll have to kind of wait and see on the exact timing of this when we're six, seven days out. The timing gets a little bit questionable with the models. The models will see the rain, but they'll have a hard time picking out the exact timing of that system. So we could easily see some of these numbers move around depending on the exact timing. But one way or the other, a couple of good shots of uh, chances of rain midweek and then into the weekend.